The Savon de Marseille smell like Provence in southern France. Jean-Louis Plot loves the smell. For the soap maker, these thick beige cubes are more than just something to wash with. They stand for a tradition that has been cultivated for centuries. Today's customers are a bit sick of industrial and artificial products. They want to go back to the products that embody tradition and authenticity. Natural products made with skill. To ensure his soaps are natural, Jean-Louis Plot uses a recipe that is more than 300 years old. He mixes various oils with clay and minerals. But the trained chemist isn't revealing the proportions. Savon de Marseille has only one true competitor, Savon de Toilette. Vegetable oils and essential oils make this creamy mixture an olfactory delicacy. And what looks like ivory-colored tinsel is also soap, cut paper thin. In French, it bears the elegant name paillette, which means sequins or spangles. Like the soap from Marseille, these strips are also made of natural ingredients. They're used to clean laundry. I constantly smell the soap, then I check on the smoothness, which determines the quality of the paillette. The smoother it is, the better it dissolves in the water, in the washing machine. Perfect drying is one of the secrets of making soap. The drying phase can take up to 14 days. The weather can be Jean-Louis Plot's best assistant, especially the Mistral, the northwest wind so typical of Provence. When the Mistral blows, the air is noticeably drier, and our products dry much faster. So this wind plays an important role in our profession. If it blows, the soap's drying time is shortened. If not, the time is longer. When the Mistral is not blowing over the city, life is tranquil in Salon de Provence. The little town in southern France gets 300 days of sunshine a year. That's ideal for making soap. The Savonnerie Rampal is the region's oldest soap manufacturing business. It all started in 1828 with this man, Pierre Rampal. His son followed him into the profession, and so did the succeeding generations. When the family's last soap maker died in 2004, Jean-Louis Plot took over the company. As a modern businessman, he knows that tradition is a marketing advantage. These stamps were very important back then. They were the manufacturer's trademark. It is a way to say, this soap, bearing the trademark Le Policier, for example, was produced by this soap factory. The stamp guarantees quality, especially when compared with other products that aren't as high quality. The natural soap is also known for being made largely by hand. The two and a half kilo blocks of soap are hand stamped. A small piece of soap costs a lot more than ordinary soap in the supermarket, but the customers are willing to pay the difference. I want to avoid allergies because my skin's very sensitive, my children's skin too. I think today people want to go back to natural products. It gives them a feeling of security in contrast to artificially produced mast products that you can buy anywhere. The thick blocks from the Salon de Provence not only stand for nostalgia, they're also the mark of quality. And they're more in demand than ever. <laughs>